Sam and the robots. Sam was good at building things. One day he built a robot. I'm Pod, said the robot. Who are you? I'm Sam, said Sam. Please to meet you. Pod, the robot, liked to build things too. What shall we build now? asked Sam one day. Can we build another robot, please? said Pod. So Sam and Pod built a new robot. She was called Boots. Boots was a football robot and she was very good at her job. She scored goal after goal after goal. Sam's school won the next match and the next one. In fact, soon they had won all the football matches. Sam and Pod built another new robot. He was called Dinnerwiz. Dinnerwiz was a robot who served school dinners. Dinnerwiz was very good at his job and served tasty school dinners on plate after plate. Sam and Pod then built one more robot called Chuck. Chuck was a robot who made yummy chocolates and he was also great at his job. Everybody in the town wanted to eat Chuck's tasty chocolates. Sam and Pod kept on building new robots and soon the town was full of busy robots all working hard. All day long they swept and they mopped and they mopped and they swept. The whole town was sparkling clean. Everybody was happy as nobody else needed to work at all. One day though, it all went wrong. The robots had become too busy and they couldn't stop cleaning. Stop, said Sam. But the robots just kept on working and working. Boots scored 10 goals through 10 windows at school. Crash, tinkle. Stop, Boots, cried Sam. But Boots kept on scoring goals through one window after another. Crash, tinkle. Dinner whiz didn't stop serving school dinners even though all the plates were full. Stop, Dinner Whiz, cried Sam. But Dinner Whiz kept on serving and soon the school was full of dinners. Chuck made all the wrong chocolates. Please stop, Chuck, cried Sam. Nobody wants chocolate carrots or chocolate pencils. But Chuck would not stop. He just kept on making the wrong chocolates. Soon the whole town was full of chocolates. Even Pod started to go wrong. I know what's wrong, said Sam. You robots need a holiday. What is a holiday? asked Pod. On a holiday you have time to rest and have fun, said Sam. Yes, please, said Pod, as long as we can work to. So Sam and the robots got on a train to the seaside. The train is full, as long as we can still work, said Pod. The robots started to work. They swept and they mopped, and they mopped and they swept. Soon... The whole train was sparkling clean. At last, the train got to the seaside. Now we can rest and have some fun, said Sam. The seaside does look fun, said Pod. All that sand 
needs sweeping away. All that water needs mopping up. The robots started work. They swept at the sand and they mopped up the water. But the more they swept, the more sand there was. The more they mopped, the more water there was. No, robot, stop, please, cried Sam. You don't work on holiday. You have a rest in the sunshine, like this. Sam lay down to have a rest. So then all the robots lay down too. But soon all the robots were bored. Pod and the others got up again. Robots don't rest, said Pod. We are bored. We need to keep busy. Then Sab had an idea. I know what we need to do, he said. Sam, Pod and all the other robots got busy. They worked hard together in the sand. They dug and they built and they built and they dug. Sam and the robots built a big sand castle. They kept on building all day long and the sand castle got bigger and bigger and bigger. We've built a good sand castle, said the robots in the end. No, said Sam, you've built a great sand castle. Then Sam said, now we'll all eat an ice cream. What is an ice cream? asked Pod. It's a tasty cold food, said Sam. No, we need cold, yummy oil, please, says Pod. Yes, please, cold, yummy oil, said all the robots. Sam and the robots got the last train back from the seaside. It was a great holiday, said Pod. But we will be happy to get back home. And we will be very happy to get back to work, said the other robots. The End <laughs>